Fridgeworthy! Episode 6. Hello, and welcome to Fridgeworthy, a very serious and prestigious social media awards show. Yeah, I think oh. we need to keep this area clear. Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, okay. We can probably, yeah. we can lift this. Yeah. Hello, and welcome to Fridgeworthy, a very serious and prestigious social media awards show. Did you guys book the studio? Uh... We actually need to start setting up to film something that's actually important. You could be nice about it. Ah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Fridgeworthy, a very serious and prestigious social media awards show. I'm Shannon. And I'm Janae. And every other week we pick a social media post by a brand that we think is particularly interesting or unique and we put it up on the fridge. This week we're talking about a furniture brand named Burrow. Yes, they're an online furniture company and they pride themselves on making very good looking and very durable furniture. The specific post that we like, it's um, really simple. It's just like yeah. a neutral toned carpet and a pop chart. This part hey, can read. keep it down. Can you keep <laughs> it down? The message in the post is super clear. The rug can handle crumbs. It can handle your real life. When I first saw this post on Burr's Instagram, immediately my mother's voice popped into my head and it was like, get that food off the floor. And then I remembered that I am a full grown adult woman mom and I can eat whatever I want on my floor at any point in time. I really like that this post is like not edited at all. There's no weird CPI Instagram filter. I really appreciate that the Pop-Tart matches the rug. Like what a nice little treat. Dogs is another thing that Burrow does really well. Yeah. There's just like always dogs on their couches. So congratulations <laughs> Burrow. You have won our award this week for Best rug picture that doesn't fill you with crippling shame about your own home. Can you keep it down, please? Thank you. No? Our takeaway this week is a little bit different than some of the other weeks. We looked at a lot of furniture companies online and we found they all looked pretty much the same. They are all like highly edited, not like how you would ever actually see your own living room being used. If you're researching your competitors, just look for a gap in the market. Do something different. And ask yourself if you're contributing to your audience's sadness or their joy. I mean, don't ask about mine because I'm just sad all the time. Yeah, we really need to find a permanent place to do this. Oh, why? I think this is great. Can you keep it down? Can you keep it down? Oh my God. Can you keep it down? Oh.